tonight, game tire, game winner. I mean, it seems like you're feeling more and more comfortable firing away and being offensively productive from the blue line. Yeah, I think uh, the coaches uh, really want the defensemen to uh, jump up in the rush and, and get shots through and all that stuff. So, um, like, I've just been trying to do that, and uh, it's been working. I mean, you've had a several multi-point efforts so far, just two assists removed from a couple of games ago. Do you personally feel more comfortable in that role? I mean, we knew what you had last year, but it seems like there's an extra step to your game uh, in the first 10 games this year. Uh, I think I feel a little bit more confident with the puck. Um, I think I'm getting a couple lucky bounces here and there, but um, I think I'm just trying to do, play my game and, and play the same way I played last year. Now, I know you're patrolling the blue line, and your main responsibility is defense, but... Goal production and scoring is coming at a premium, and it seems like Coach Collins is turning to you in that back line to help contribute. What is it about the scoring as a full five-man unit that is looking to break through here over these last couple games and hopefully carrying into this uh, next couple against Iowa? Uh, like I said, I think you just got to shoot the puck on net, and I think the last couple games we kind of got away from that, and, and I think uh, tonight we really prided ourselves on getting that puck on the net and, and, and even crashing there. I know a couple times uh, a couple shots were seen by the goalie and, and all that but the last uh, the last last period there we really hunkered down and, and got that done what are you looking to do differently see differently on the power play you're a big weapon on the back end for there as well but the ice hogs empty-handed here tonight and look to to improve on those especially that five on three in the first period what needs to be different to to see that puck sneak in uh, I think we have to be uh, more clean with the puck we make a couple one bad pass and it's stuck on the yellow for the the rest of the time we're out there so I think if we uh, just kind of focus in and, and try and make a couple good passes to start, uh, I think we'll be fine. What goes into staying fresh in a three games and three nights stretch where game one you go to overtime and have to play a little extra? Uh, I think just a lot of recovery. Uh, Christian, our uh, trainer, has done a good job of preparing us on what we need to do. And you know we just got to uh, use the tools that we have uh, after the game and, and in, the, in the locker room uh, to help us get ready for the next two games. Pretty loaded, uh, talent-wise, defensive group here in Rockford. Um, does that put more pressure on you, or does that make you step up your game and, you know, really rise to the occasion to get the ice time? Uh, I'm not too sure. I know we're all good friends back there, and and we all uh, we all want to see each other do the best we that we can do. But uh, I think we just gotta we all just go out there and try and play our game the way we that we we've been playing for our whole lives, and and it's up to the coaches to see who uh, they want to put in the, in the in the lineup. What does a game like this do for the group in the locker room? You snap a, a two-game winless skate, if you want to call it that, but you start a three-game and three-day stretch with a nice bang. I imagine everybody's feeling pretty good and looking forward to tomorrow already. Yeah, this was a big game for us. These guys were, I think, 8-1 and one coming into tonight, so uh, they were a really hot team. And to come back in the third period like that, it was, uh, it was really big.